How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and RPG Maker MV version 1.3.2 has been released a few hours ago. Um, I'm going to go over some of the changes very quickly um, and some of the things that it tells you to do that you shouldn't do. All right, so um, the first thing it's asking you to do is make a backup of your project, which you should do. Um, then you're going to go into the new data folder from where it's installed, <clears throat> and you're going to copy um, those files into your project files to update your project. So from uh, if you're running it on Steam, it should update automatically. You'll see that we've got a, a 4.6 megabyte up, uh, update. So that's done. Um, what you want to do is go to your software and on RPG Maker MV, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. And it's going to bring up a folder uh, for RPG Maker MV. Inside this folder, you're going to see a folder called New Data. Click inside that New Data folder. <clears throat> so now that we've got this New Data folder, we're going to basically take these files which have been updated from version 1.3.2, version 1.3.2, and we're going to put them uh, in our, pro our game project folder. So I've got this project open right here. Dungeons of Driftwood, this is where my game is stored, and it was using version 1.3.1. We're going to copy these files, put them uh, overwriting uh, these with the new ones, but we want to make a backup first. So the files that we're going to back up, uh, you can create another folder somewhere else. I've just got another folder called 131 Backups, and you can see I've already done this, but I'm going to go through for a tutorial. Um, you're going to right-click the index.html from your game not the the root the game this is the 131 paste it in here inside your backups and uh, if it's a blank folder you won't have to overwrite anything but we're gonna go into the JS folders okay we're gonna highlight everything but we're gonna unselect plugins folder with the control button and we're gonna unselect uh, plugins.js and we're gonna copy all of these Actually, we can we can highlight everything because this is our backup. But I'm going to unselect plugins folder because I don't need that. We're going to copy these and we're going to paste these into our backup folder. All right, so we've got a backup of our 131 uh, version files. It's as simple as that. So now we're going to take our version 132 files and put those into our 131 uh, game project. So going into the root directory, taking this index.html, copying this, pasting it here. Copy and replace. <clears throat> what we're going to do is go into the JS and we're going to highlight everything except for the plugins. And in the 132 files, what we're going to do is unselect plugins.js. That way, all of our plugin parameters that we've already set up are not going to be overwrote uh, when we put in the new uh, version file. So copy all of those and go into the JS folder and paste those over here. And we're going to do this for the next six conflicts and we're going to copy and replace. And yes, we're going to replace the library folder. And I'm going to double check to make sure that these library folders are matching. And we can look at the file size to see if they're exactly the same, and they are. Cool. So once we've done that, we've updated our project. We can close the project and open the project. And unless you've accidentally overwrote all your parameters, your game should start. And it works. Okay, cool. And that's pretty much it. Um, the let's go over some of the notes that things that uh that, that they've changed most of this stuff is for mobile that they've addressed um they've fixed the skill own condition and event condition they fixed some crashes on the mobile play they fixed the scroll text event command they've addressed a pixie bug uh, of unnatural tile scaling they fixed another pixie bug for the resolution is not defined i never came across this bug um, but I imagine it's probably for like older phones or something. 
or mo older mobile devices that had you know weird resolutions or something. I never had that problem. They've addressed uh, WebGL blend mode. Um, the problem was overlay wasn't working for some features, but I guess it is now. Uh, character generator has been um, updated a little bit. <clears throat> they fixed a bug that uh, would affect PC users as well and Mac users, but it's just highly unlikely that you come across it, so I understand why it took so long to get this uh, bug fixed because it probably wasn't reported until recently. It's a, a damage pop-up when a drain skill is reflected. There was some uh, bug right there. I don't know if it crashed or not. I never personally encountered it. Uh, tiling sprite scaling bug was addressed. Uh, they've fixed... Uh, They've added a fix to prevent negative values to be entered in the, in, uh, the attack state. Um, I believe I've done that before. I never crashed or noticed anything odd except for getting zero. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if you're using variables in your damage formula, you still have to initialize them, setting them to zero. Otherwise, you're going to do zero damage when you call on a variable that hasn't been uh, initialized. So regardless that they fix some other bugs, still initialize your variables. Uh, they've also added some more support for direct input controllers, but not all controllers are supported. Before this patch, my uh, Xbox 360 USB controller worked fine, but I, I, you know, I, it's the only one I tested, so I'm sure there were some compatibility issues. They've also updated some plugins, the Battle Voice, the Foreground, and the Tiny Get Info window. If you use these plugins, you'll have to do one more step inside the plugins folder. Uh, let's uh, look at our game folder and our, um, this is our uh, Steam data uh, 1.3.2 files. So you'll go into the plugins and you'll find these plugin files, uh, Battle Voice, Foreground, and Tiny Get Info Window. And you'll copy those. Um, I don't even see them in here. Anyway, wherever you get the Kato Kawa scripts, you would get the new versions and update those by putting those into your JS plugins folder. I'm sure if you already have them, you know that, but I figured to go over it anyway. But anyway, that's it. We've got a new update. Just wanted to let you guys know that version 1.3.2 has been released. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'd be happy to help you out. But the number one thing, make backups. It's really easy to do, and it'll save you a lot of trouble if you overwrite your files. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.